Good Tuesday morning, everybody. Today is May 5th, 2021. I am Rahim Escalai, and this is Full Info Sports Talk. Today's Tuesday, we have scores from the NBA, the NHL, the MLB, and of course, grading the draft. First and foremost, this is kind of ironic to say the least. Um, the other day on the episode, um, I had asked one of you guys to find out the name of that um, historic Hawaii quarterback, uh, the one from Hawaii University. Well, it appears, unfortunately, last night, that quarterback was Colt Brennan. Um, and last night, Colt Brennan passed away at the age of 37. Um, we'll give him a moment of silence. He was the first, uh, I think he was the first collegiate quarterback to pass for over 5,000 years. Um, that is a feat amongst many that he has accomplished. So let's give him a moment of silence in his name. All right, let's get into the show. Grading the draft starts with we're going. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Continuing the uh, the um, NFC North, the Chicago Bears needed a corner, a wideout, a QB. A Offensive tackle and a guard. They got their quarterback and their tackles in um, Justin Fields, Tevin Jenkins, and Larry Barone. Um, and those are just the, the big names from the draft. To be honest with you, the Bears had a great the Bears had a great draft. Quietly, um, I think taking Justin Fields is what set it off. Um, and the GM and the coach and Coach Nagy were in sync, and they were making making good picks. Um, I know they're the Bears. Why are you, uh, why are you complimenting them? Um, you know, you just, you just got to recognize something that they do good. Um, and they did it good once, and that was this draft. Mm, other than that, um, I like the um, Kenny Herbert pick. I think he can spell what's his face Montgomery. I think he'll spell Montgomery a lot. They're kind of the same build. So, you know, you can expect the same type of production um, from him as well. Chicago Bears are again going to have a losing record, and hopefully this season, Matt Nagy's fired. Um, I believe the Bears will slip down. Um, they're probably going to be stupid and start Justin Fields day one. Um, so we'll say they're going to be 7-10. I mean, sorry, it's, that's as biased as I can get. <laughs> Go, Pat. <bro. laughs> All right, our team with the... Grading the draft, the Minnesota Vikings. The, you needed, they needed a DE, a uh, left guard, a center, a safety, and a middle linebacker. Um, what impressed me about the Vikings draft this year is the fact that they were able to fill holes in which were they were lacking a lot last season, um, specifically quarterback protection. Um, I think I, I like um, Christian Derisaw. They traded up to get him. Um, Kellen Mond is an interesting pick. He was a third rounder. Um, many say he's just going to be a career backup, but honestly, I think he can, um, at some point, push uh, what's his face over there. Um, he robbed him of eighty-four million. Can't think of the Viking. Oh, Cousins, Kirk Cousins. Um, I think he can push Kirk Cousins out eventually, but he's definitely got some developing to do. He still plays very much like a zombie, the zombie that he did at Texas A&M. Um, also, I like Chad Surratt, um, the linebacker from North Carolina. If you guys remember my earlier episodes before the draft, I um, I was very high on him. And I thought Chad Surratt was going to actually go to my Packers at the end of the uh, first round. I later mocked Greg Newsom. Uh, we got neither, and Aaron got no help. Um, I like Christian Darisaw, Kelamon, as I said. Uh, Chad Surratt's a good one. Um, Wyatt Davis, the guard from Ohio State. There's a lot said about him. He's another guy that was injury, COVID opt out. So judge as you may. But I think he's going to crack the starting lineup. Probably sometime by week two. Honestly, it's even either the last preseason game. Um, or maybe he'll he'll be named the starter the first week. Who knows? Um, but I I look I would see um, Wyatt Davis having a great career. He's a really big freaking dude. And he, um, 
He knows how to push his weight around on the football field. So, ladies and gentlemen, this was episode 49 on your terrific Tuesday. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and comment. We are also on YouTube. We need the subscribers and views up either way. So your help is greatly appreciated. Um, I love you all. I wish you all the best. And I hope you all have a great day. This is Rahim Eskali with 413 Sports Talk, episode 49. Signing out.